you know, you have the spirit of witchcraft. Yes. You only threaten this man with divorce. You want to leave the house. Yes, it, it always come in my mind. I have to suicide, I have to leave him, and I have to make him nothing. Come here. I want to destroy her and I want to put his name you on want it. To do yes. You want to do I want to make him nothing. You want to make him nothing? Yes. Why? I want to make him nothing. You want to make him nothing? Yes. Why? Here goes. Ah! In the name of Jesus. Why do you want to make him nothing? Because, because he says, I and my home will work for God. You say what? work for God. He says that I and my family will work for God. Okay. Hey, there, the name of Jesus. Hey. You say you want to do what? And destroy him. To destroy him? Yes. For what? Because he wants to work for God. For God. You want to go for God? Yes. Hey, come here. Say it louder. You say what? Destroy him. You want to destroy him? Yes. Why? Because he wants to serve God. Because he wants to serve God. Yeah. Because you hate him, serve God. Yes. Yeah. Watch your screen. The spirit. Yeah. The evil spirit in the woman speaking. That's the wife of this man. The evil spirit said he wants to destroy the husband. Deliverance dans la puissance du Saint Esprit. L'esprit méchant parlant dans la femme de ce monsieur. Donc il veut le détruire parce qu'il veut servir Dieu. If he is delivered and this man is not delivered, we have not done anything because he has deposited something in him. So he's delivered and he's delivered. Now let's pray. You can serve your God. I wanted to serve my God. Serve o -D. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is the only ambition I have got to serve my God to the last moment of my life. Hallelujah. Now you are free. Go and give your husband a hug. Gloria a Dios. Vamos a ese testimonio de esta pareja, de esta mujer, esta liberación. Watch your screen. Total deliverance. For the husband and wife. Uh -huh. What the Lord has joined together. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for setting us free and delivering us, Lord. We want to serve you, Lord. Where there is solution, there is forgiveness. Where there is no solution, there is no forgiveness. This is solution. Now, this is a wonderful woman. It is the accident. It is biological makeup. So now it's free. Never in your life remind her again. No matter what happened in the house, if few people disagree, that is area you should not mention. If you mention that, you offend God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, Jesus. She is going to join you in the ministry. Yes, she's going to join you. Wonderful, it's an evangelist. He's going to join you in the ministry. Thank you. Pray for you. My name is Rina Matthew, I'm 47 years old and I'm from New Zealand. The gentleman beside me is my husband. This is for the first time I've come to Synagogue Church of All Nations. The man of God came to me and said, you're holding something inside you and you have got a desire to divorce your husband. And he also said to me that you have got a witchcraft problem within you. And at that moment, the spirit in me started manifesting badly. You know, you have the spirit of witchcraft. 
Yes. You only threaten this man with divorce. You want to leave the house. Yes, it, it always come in my mind. I have to suicide, I have to leave him, and I have to make him nothing. Come here. I want to destroy her and I want to put his name you on it. Yes. You want to do I what? want to make him nothing. You want to make him nothing? Yes. Why? I want to make him nothing. You want to make him nothing? Yes. Why? Holy Ghost! Ah! In the name of Jesus, why do you want to make him nothing? Because, because he says, I and my home will work for God. So the man of God said that you are actually possessed with the spirit of witchcraft. Is that correct? Yes. It's from my father's side. When the spirit manifests in me, uh, it comes to just divorce my husband. Okay. Can you tell us for the benefit of everybody listening to you, how long have you had this problem? It's almost uh, 14 years that this manifestation has been too strong on me. But I think it was before that also. And uh, when the spirit comes on to me, I, I don't have any control over myself. I just become very angry. I'm so strong. Even my husband tried to control, try to hug me or hold me. I will throw him down. I'll smash everything. I'll tear everything. I'll throw the utensils. I bang the door and you know, it is a, like a mess. For two to three days, this manifestation takes place. I've got a daughter. I don't look after her at that time. I don't want to see her. I don't want to see my husband. I just want to be by myself and when I'm alone I think you know to just kill myself you know the spirit tries to make me depressed and uh, just tries to say prompt into me that I should suicide and all the blame should be coming upon my husband the same situation will be 24 hours I will not eat I will not drink even my husband come and gives me something to eat I'll just throw it away so at that point in time you become an entirely different person yes yes my face changes my expression changes everything changes I'm a different person but once the spirit subsides then I feel very sorry within myself that what I have done I shouldn't have done it you say you want to do what and destroy him to destroy him yes. for what because he wants to work for God. There was no peace, no joy, nothing. Um, you know, we didn't have a, even relationship. And how long have you been married? It's 22 years that we have got married. We have gone all over, all over India. We had been to different pastors. And whenever they prayed for me, the spirit never manifested. And when I was out of that prayer uh, from the pastors, I used to blame my husband that you have purposely taken me over there and nothing has come out. You are, I tried to prove him wrong all the time. Say it louder. You say what? Destroy him. You want to destroy him? Yes. Why? Because he wants to serve God. Yeah. Watch your screen. Don't stay. Yeah. Man of God, with his power of the Holy Spirit, when he looked at me, I couldn't stand in front of him. I started screaming and I was just manifested so badly that I didn't know what I was speaking. But at last he just took his arm above on me and I just fell down. And then I don't know, I felt that something has gone and I'm so, so light and I feel I'm free. Earlier before the deliverance, 